What, what is that? What is that? What is that? Okay, time for another collection video. Part of the alphabet. Uh, it's the bees. Oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Oh, no, my eyes! My eyes! Ah! Ah! So, first up, Batman. Very popular tape when it came out. I have to apologise for any background noise. There is a festival going on in Batman Forever. So Returns and Robin are in another section, so they're not in this section. So we've got the original Blues Brothers tape, which we had to wait eight years, or six years, back in the 80s for them to release this film on physical media. Uh, yeah, eight years. So the film was in 1980, and this is the next rental. And then it took eight years for them to release it on VHS retail, and then they really, uh, then they re-released it in THX. So this is the two hours, eight minutes cut. Another X rental. Because there's now a director's cut, which is like two and a half hours. So you got Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. A most triumphant video. So, plenty of good reviews there. So why not have another copy? Slightly different. This is the forefront budget release. And then you've got the Paul video gold release. $5.99. Only <coughs> if you can get into it. Right. Then we got the sequel, Bogus Journey. Very different film. If I still prefer the first. And then we got the Cinema Club release of the second film. And the budget label. Then we got the original stripey CIC of Back to the Future. Prince playing in the background now. Right, and then they've got a re release of Back to the Future by the Universal label. And then they've got Back to the Future 2. This is the original release, I believe. Could be wrong. So, see, I see one, so that's quite an old one. And you've got Babe. And. Yeah. But then I've got a re release of Babe, so this one's. The other ones, no, there's the difference, the spine. Apart from that, everything else I believe is the same. Just a re-release. Then I've got the sequel, which is even weirder. Pick it up, Baby Boom. This is uh, old Warner's tape. Never actually seen, uh, no, I tell you, I've seen this once, I think, when it came out. It's about... What's her face? Diane Keaton. Getting a baby, even though she's a tough businesswoman. Bogus. Now, who the hell is this? Whoopi Goldberg and Gerard Dapodeau, Uh With Haley Joe Altman. I thought I recognised the kid. Put a mole on there, but I'm not going to watch it. Rene Russo and Buddy. Based on true story. Hmm. Could have got a cool watch back in the day. Oh, still can. Oh, no. Tickets with us. Station. The big effing giant. Oh, friendly giant. Roald Dahl's uh, big hit this was, especially in the UK, Times video. So I've got two versions of that. Oh, a yeah. yellow one and a blue one. This is probably the budget release, but look at it. Uh, Ridley Scott's Black Rain and Michael Douglas. Uh, from the producers of Fatal Attraction. Music by Hans Zimmer. It's a good thriller, but well, it's not a regular one you could watch. DiCaprio's The Beat with an alternate ending and music video. Is that the um, All Saints video? Look at that, three for 20 quid back in the day for VHS tapes, 20 years ago. The great Mark Singer and Tanya Roberts in The Beastmaster. Director's Cut, ooh. I wonder what's in this, it's a 15 now. More TNA, I hope. Then we got Bigfoot and Hendersons, or Harry and Hendersons, as it was known to the US. Uh, but yeah, I saw this in the cinema when it came out. I loved it. But I haven't seen it for a very long time. I know it made a TV series, I never saw either. The great late 
Blind Fury with Rutger Hauer. I should have that the other way around. As blind as a bat. It's a fun film. Enough thrills to put James Bond to shame. Not really, but it's still an entertaining film. Now, Blue Collar. A surprisingly serious film with um, Richard Pryor. But, budget release. Blue Sky. Remember it coming out? I don't know anything about it. The music's kicking off in the background. Blind Date. Bruce Willis's first big film. Blake Edwards and Kimbatter. Get her drunk and she's anyone's. Allegedly. But then she causes trouble. Butcher Boy. Neil Jordan film. Not that I've seen it. Very serious stuff, I should imagine. Uh, Eddie Murphy's Boomerang. One that you don't hear much of in his filmography. Uh, what is this? 92. Yeah, this is after was it Distinguished Gentleman and others that I don't really hear about either. Bean, the ultimate disaster movie. Now, I've never been a fan of Mr. Bean in any format. So I think I've only seen this once. Billy Elliot. Oh, special edition. Look at that. What's special about it? A 40 minute documentary. Never seen the film though. Boys in the Hood. Increase the Peace. It's got two sets of five stars, but is that a review? But yeah, this was a big thing when it came out. Beaches, and it's not two 18 year olds sitting on the beach drinking booze. It's uh, a very sad film. I think I've seen it once. I don't think I ever saw this. I remember it being advertised to death when it came out, The Bear, because it just it took like two or something years to make just while they filmed this real bear doing stuff and um, patch it together. So be done in 10 minutes today on a PC. Valerie's not included. Spielberg Presents. Never saw... Yeah, I haven't seen this in a long time. But it's an old tape. Um, where are we at? Bulletproof Monk. Uh, it's alright. I can't remember because I haven't seen it for a long time. But I didn't mind, didn't mind it when it came out. Was this? Yeah, Fifth Element. Special edition coming soon, and some Aliens box sets. Bone Collector, I do like this. Could have been the start of a franchise, but I don't think it was a big enough hit. Uh, Philip Noyce, directed some good thrillers in his day. An old one, Bonnie and Clyde. So, uh, what was this, 1967. I haven't seen that for a long time. No, I've never seen this one. It's probably not bad, but don't to my Clint Eastwood. It's over two uh, over two hours. Who's got time for that? The Birdcage, great Robin Williams film. Set in Miami. We've got dogs now. Uh Beautiful Mind, the awards edition. Okay, what's this? Four Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Okay, is it just a re-release? I don't think it says it. It's the Eye of Tigers playing in the background now. The US number one box office smash. Yeah, I'm sure it was. For a week. And then dropped out of the charts. Big Daddy. What's this Jonathan Ross say? A terrific movie that's both funny and touching. Yeah, it was alright. It's not up to the other levels. Boogie Nights. Here we go. Film of the year. It says Loaded. I wonder why they said that. Nothing to do with Roller Girl and everything else. Nearly halfway through. Beavis and Butter Do America, the full length hit movie. I was never a fan of Beavis and Butter, but this film's not bad. Right. Blade Runner, the old Warner release. This is the theatrical cut of the four, is it now? And then we've got. The re-release on the screen classics. I think this is 112 minutes. 112 minutes, yeah. So it's the same cut. The director's cut. I think I got in widescreen. You got your Buster, big film when it came out. He had yeah, three hit singles from one album. But 
about a robbery. Just look at that old Vestron video label. Brassed off, another British movie. Only seen it once about people in the mine playing brass instruments. Balto, never seen it. Who did this? I think I just picked up the sequel the other day, didn't I? Had. Bell Hills Cop, classic. The stripy case, handsome. Bell Hills got two. Yeah, this is the CIC release later on. Bridget Jones' Diary, 35 minutes of extra material. See, trying to compete with DVDs. And the sequel, Ed of Reason, haven't seen this one. Or the third one, but blown away. Fantastic thriller, terrible poster. Very nice. Right, best film ever made, fact. Big Tom Little China on the all time great label. That's the Moldy Damage. Bound. I don't think I've seen this. I still need to watch it, especially the uncut version from the people that made the Matrix before they were famous. Oh, there's Batman Returns. I was wrong. I actually didn't look hard enough through this list. Then we got some Van Damme, some spares, Blood Sport from Canon, old tape, and the unfortunate Black Eagle. With some old. Hang on, this is McVicker. Now I've got to check my McVicker's box. There we go, Beethoven 1. This was a massive hit when it came out. Hence, Beethoven 2nd with puppies. And poor Charles Grodin. Beethoven's 3rd with Judge Reinhold. This is part of the gift set. I uh, don't have, well, I got 4th, but it's in a big box somewhere else. And then we got John Larroquette's. For two ninety nine in Beethoven's fifth. The music's really kicking off now. Well, Black Beauty. I didn't. I've never noticed that before. It's got a postcard in there. Might be a film that Sean Bean survives in. I haven't seen it. I need to watch a TV show. So, what's this one? This. Oh, this is the old one. There you go. This is the seventies film. And then we got Black Stallion. Presented by Francis Ford Coppola from the director of Flyway Home. But yeah, not seen it. And Blow, based on a true story. Yeah, very dark. I don't know, is it a drama, thriller? Bogus Witch Project, the ultimate horror spoof. Until uh, Ricky's gets made. But yeah, I've never seen it. Didn't know I had this, the big chill. A lot of before they were famous and very young people. And I think it's a Kevin Costner's Cust lock. Seems were cut. Bulletproof. So, yeah. Don't worry, Anna Sandler. Anna Sandler's first film, I think. It's trying to be an action comedy, but failing at both. Backdraft. A lot of drama and a lot of great fire effects. Budget release. Great film, The Burbs. Love this one. Old CIC tape, some damage. The Battlefield Earth, terrible poster there. I've never seen it, but maybe a punishment one day. Ah, uh, the Great Barbed Wire. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should send that to AJ. Big Fish, very strange film, but it's very sad too. Right, Tim Burton. Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kids Special Edition. Another one with a making of. By Centennial Man. Never watched it. Who's it by? It's, um. I can't see it. Chris Columbus, yeah. So was it. The Home Alone guy. Blue Jean Cop, or is it Shake Down to the US? Peter Robocop Weller. <laughs> But yeah, this, it's a good cop thriller if you like the, the original Lethal Weapon. Basketball. I love this film. <laughs> Just the pictures make me laugh, you little bitch. Right. Uh, Bugsy Malone. Alan Parker's musical from the 70s with a lot of young people. And extra. So somehow it's a budget release and a rental. Richard Gere in Breathless. 
Yeah, I think it's a remake, isn't it? Of a French film of back in the day. Blue Streak. Ooh. Uh, blue Tank. And uh, oh, we've got Jay Z's Girls Rush Friend, Heavy D, Criminal Mind, and yeah, Ja Rule music videos. If you can fast forward to the end to watch them. So, horror comedy, apparently. Bad taste. But yeah, discussing this the other night. If... What's his face? Uh, oh my, warning people of a weak disposition should not watch this feature. Hmm, doesn't have any credits. Peter Jackson, there he You can make one of those on a weekend again now. Uh, Bugs Life. Oft forgotten Pixar film. Ah, Francis Ford. Uh, Martin Scorsese's. Bring out there. I do like this film. It's 10 minutes of bonus footage. It's a very dark film. Joan Collins and the Bitch. I can't remember if this is the sequel to The Stud or is it this is the first one? But based off her sister's books, The Borrowers with John Goodman. Not seen it. I haven't seen most of those 90s kids' films. I was too old. I like this one. What's this? Born to be Wild. I don't know this. Who's this? Nope, don't, don't know anyone. Ah, there's the other Billy Elliot, the non-special edition. Best British film in decades. I don't get that many. Base Against Inked. The tape is basically just like watching snow. Tom Hanks in Big. When he started going a bit more serious, even though it is a funny film. Baby's Day Out from the Creative Home Alone. Yeah, so what is this, John Hughes? But yeah, I've never seen it. Oh, there's another basic incident. The Guild release now. That can't be the Guild tape. Right, last stack. Blue Steel. Uh, Oliver Stone production from Catherine Bigelow. It's not, mu not much of a thriller. But, you know, Blue Juice. Catherine Zeta Jones in a swimsuit for a couple of hours. This film is a treat, apparently, said Jonathan Ross. Uh, I have not seen it, but I know it's, I think, about surfers. Ah, another blue streak. This must be yeah, a different release. Ah, running out of room. Bad Company, Hopkins and Rock. Combination you ever think you'd see. But directed by Joel Schumacher and produced by Bruckheimer. Nothing special, behind enemy lines. There was a few sequels to this, but none of the original cast and uh, director, John Moore. Return, but it's a pretty good thriller. A bit of action in there. Christian Slater doing a romantic film, Bed of Roses. I thought it's not the one where you get a monkey heart. Robert De Niro's Bronx Tale, directed by Robert De Niro. Sadly, I have not seen it. I keep meaning to. I need to make some time for that one. Bend It Back Like Beckham, where Kim, Kira Knightley's for, and Jonathan Reese Mayer's probably first film. Oh, nice green box. Broken Arrow, classic John Woo actioner. Doo, 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 doo. The Bodyguard. This was very big when it came out. Don't hear anything about it anymore. 1992, so just missed its. Uh, 30th anniversary last year. Bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? They come for you. Bad boy 2. I think I prefer this one. I, well, I prefer the action in this one. I know it's like two and a half hours, but it's got some solid stunts in it. Beetlejuice. This is Beetlejuice. The tape of Beetlejuice. Eight minutes of screen time. That's fantastic. Right, last view. Got best of the best. The ultimate force in karate. Very popular film. That's why I have two of them. But I only saw it for the first time a few years ago. But I have yet to see Eric Roberts' Best of the Best 2. So the main cast return for that. And here we go. Oh, we got Bra Braveheart. Took me ages to pick this up. It's a very dark cover. Mm, music turned up. And finally, we made it. 
Blazing Saddles. My contraband now, because if they're coming for a French connection, this can't be far behind. There we go. Whew. Thanks for watching. Here end of the lesson.